So today's video is all about leaf springs and the fact that the leaf springs on our van are pretty flat. Um, apparently, uh, so I've been told by Fiat Warranty, Fiat won't replace them because Auto Trail bought a standard van and then they've pretty much put a maximum load in it. Instead, they should have bought, yes, you've named it, the Jakarto Maxi, which has better leaf springs at the back. So the first thing we start off with is removing the wheel. Um, again, I'm doing this at home, so please don't take this as the right thing to do. This is just me doing it, it's not a guide. Um, however, the next thing you'll see there is my axle stands aren't very tall. So I've taken the wheel off. You don't probably have to take the wheel off, but I've taken the wheel off so I can lower the van down enough that it sits on the axle stands, so it's therefore safe to work on. So the next bit is to move the handbrake cable um, holder little snap connector on there just so you can start to manipulate the actual brackets and everything else. Now the next step is to remove the two U-bolts that clamp the um, leaf spring to the axle and it also clamps down the plate uh, where the bump stop sits on top of. Okay so that's now we're uh, undone. Like I said I've, I've removed the bump stop from the middle as well so that sits there, bump stop goes down so I've removed that as well. So let's start on that side now. Get that one done. At this point it started to rain a lot, like monsoon rain. You can start to see some of the water under the floor there. Uh, so I just cracked on. Uh, what I didn't want to do is start to get camera gear wet and stuff like that, so I just cracked on. Um, unfortunately that didn't help me out because um, it started to rain and then just didn't stop raining. So I cracked on and did the other side. So we're going to flip over to the other side now. And um, yeah, I'm going to go through the process again in a bit more detail on that side. Right, well, weather's got better now, so we're going to crack on and do the other side. Uh, hopefully this time, the weather will be better enough that I can actually film it as well. I just didn't want the camera getting soaked. So, uh, yeah, we're on the offside wheel now. And um, I think hopefully this is going to be a bit easier. Shouldn't have said that though, should I? So it's a 24mm socket on the back. Uh, obviously a long socket so we can get over the long bolt and um, yeah a bit of brute force on that. I've got an extendable uh, ratchet so that kind of helps with that. Uh, the other end is um, like a Torx head um, so you can either put a 22mm um, nut over that one or just use some uh, vice grips or whatever to stop it spinning. And again that was just a case of undoing it and getting off to the other end as well, undoing that end, doing them both uh, and then just tapping the bolts out so the actual uh, leaf spring is free. It takes a bit of jiggling around to be able to pull it out, um, but yeah, it came out quite easily. Uh, and it's just sliding the thing out nice and carefully so you don't catch anything throughout. Again, this is just a bit of an unfortunate thing is I'm working on the driveway here. So if you're doing this on a, a nice four poster ramp or you know drive on ramp or whatever, it'd be a much easier uh, job to do uh, from start to finish really. Um, but then it's just a case of putting the new leaf spring back in there, uh, aligning it up with the hangers, um, and then popping the bolts back through. What's really important is that you get the ends right. So one end, you can see it's got that extra little flange or a plate on the end. And then on the other end, it's not. So the one with the little flange on it, that comes to the front like that and then the one without goes to the back so that's how you uh, you know which way around you're getting them so on the bottom of the spring is this kind of little nipple uh, locator and that has to sit that see that pin there the little hole well, the underside of this is supposed to go in there and that basically locates the axle in the right place and the spring so you have to make sure that when you do that, you'll see because there shouldn't be a gap underneath there like that. And uh, you might have to uh, move the axle a tiny bit, give it a tap, um, or move the uh, the leaf spring a tiny bit, give that a tap or whatever uh, to locate them in there. So it goes without saying that the reverse is obviously you fit the new U-bolts on, which are slightly longer because the new leaf spring is thicker. And you then put the two hanging bolts on either end of the leaf spring where the bushes are you put the clip back on for the handbrake cable um, and then obviously put your 
wheel back on. Uh, don't nip everything up yet. I'm going to explain why not now. So we got there. Um, it's not helped that it's uh, rained all day and um, got wet all the time. But hey ho, these things happen. Uh, we've now got the leaf spring on. It's not tightened up at either ends. Um, that needs to be done when it's actually sat on its wheels. So I'm going to put the wheel on and then lower it down off the axle stands. And once that's done, I can then tighten up the bolts that way and that way for the uh, leaf spring. So that's the job finished off now. Um, everything's kind of like set up perfectly. So it's 185 newton metre torque on the rear bolt, 145 newton metre torque on the front bolt. Um, I go and I went around and nipped everything up as well. And then I went out for a ride to actually check um, that everything was okay and to make sure that the suspension settled and became even because on the driveway it didn't actually show that it was perfectly even. So I was a little bit worried about that, but yeah, after a drive, everything was all right. Um, as you can see underneath now, it all looks nice and shiny. However, you will notice the difference between near side and offside is still a bit of a gap. So there the bump stops actually touching the leaf spring just about. And yet on the offside, there is a tiny gap. And that's basically because the weight majority of it anyway with the cooker and the kitchen and all that is on the near side of the van um, but with the heavy duty leaf springs that's going to sort that kind of problem out and it's still going to balance itself out so if you remember the picture at the uh, start of the video where it really could see the axle and the van were opposing angles underneath uh, that's now not the case so as you can see here you've got a decent uh, gap all the way around the wheel now on both sides the ride isn't harsh it's not making your fillings fall out of your teeth um, but it is a firm ride and it handles a lot better around corners and everything else as well and we've got a bit more ground clearance underneath as well for the water tanks and stuff like that so like i say there's the back shot that's the money picture really is showing that it's all nice and level at the back and not how it was before so thanks for watching catch you on the next one and take care bye